What is up and welcome back to the channel. Zach here with Dr. Eyeball MD. It's good to have you back. Today it's gonna be a little bit more of a rambly video where I just talk about some of the interesting things going on, how residency's going, and just kind of life in general. Uh, so if you wanna hear me just talk about that stuff for probably the next 10, 15 minutes, hang around. If you wanna hear a more productive video where I actually give you some advice and tips and things, go check out one of the other videos because I definitely have made quite a few of those. So I was gonna maybe make this into like a little series called Tea Time with Zach where I just kinda like go over like life and medicine, being in residency, some of the things going on, you know, just kind of my take on it and like feelings on the whole process basically. Um, but full disclosure, that's not tea, it's crystal light. I don't like tea, so uh, the alliteration was better with tea time. Anyways, let's get into kind of like what's going on, you know, in residency, uh, in life, some of the things I've got going on, if you are interested in any of that. So basically, residency is getting ready to finish here soon. I can't actually believe how quickly it's gone by. It seems like just yesterday I was like a med student just shadowing ophthalmology and now I'm almost done with it and it kind of just like makes you wonder like oh I'm actually good enough to go and like practice and that kind of thing and like you kind of realize like yeah I probably could do that if I wanted to so that's kind of an interesting feeling. Um, good things on the horizon though I do have two cataract blocks coming up. Actually the meat and majority of my cataract surgery as a ophthalmology resident is coming up here in the next couple months and I'm gonna take you guys along on that journey doing those cases I'm gonna try to like show you my progress through it trying some new techniques uh, and just kind of the process of learning to become a surgeon because no one shows that um, anyways I got this new vlogging camera it's a DJ Osmo pocket 2 and so I'm pretty excited to start using that in some of the videos and try to get some better vlogging footage um, when I take you guys along as in my day in the lifestyle stuff uh, and actually get like good quality footage. This is a gimbal camera, so it's actually like really steady shot and it's like a lot better than an iPhone. So I'm excited to use that and like give you guys some good like behind the scenes quality footage, hopefully, of day in the life as a doctor, resident, that kind of thing. But anyways, ophthalmology residency is getting ready to wrap up. Uh, fellowship is gonna be starting after that. So I gotta just kind of switch gears and basically get in the mindset of, well, I have a whole new skill set to learn and that's plastic surgery and learning just to like look at patients and like look at their problems uh, in a different way. It's just a different way of looking at patients basically. So I've got to kind of shift into that mindset um, and then learn a whole different style of surgery. Fortunately, I've spent the last year, the last third year of my residency, uh, with all my extra time with the oculoplastics guys already, learning the basics, learning, you know, the bread and butter surgeries, doing the ptosis repairs, doing the blefs, you know, doing uh, the ectropion, entropion repairs, trying to go see some of the bigger cases, uh, watch some Madam Butterfly procedures, you know, obviously I haven't, didn't get to do much there, but, you know, getting like a lot of experience. So I'm going to kind of hopefully go into the resident, go into the fellowship with a good baseline of knowledge at least and then build upon that and actually get hopefully really good at plastics. Um, so that's kind of what's on the horizon coming up. Uh, a little bit nervous about it, a little bit, um, you know, it's, it's kind of unsettling to like start something new that you really don't have much experience with and that you're not good at. It's always like hard to like start over basically and just jump off the top of one totem pole back to the bottom of another one. but. It's just, it's like you get to the top of one and you jump off, but at least the next one that you're starting on is at a higher level. So it's it's almost like stairs. You just keep going up, um, but you do have to take a step back, um, you know, in, in your learning curve. So that's coming up in the near future. Um, trying to make sure I'm pumping out YouTube videos at least one a week. My New Year's resolution goal is to do two a week. Um, I have definitely fallen behind on that, and I'll own up to that. Uh, but hopefully I'll at least keep doing about one a week and then if I can I'll try to do two a week. Um, I gotta figure out a good way to bring you guys along for the plastic style uh, videos so I can show you plastic surgeries and things because there's not a microscope in oculoplastic surgery uh, so I'm not sure how I'm gonna like bring you guys along to show you that but I'm gonna figure that out. I um, have been working on getting cameras set up in the OR to like film those surgeries for some other projects so hopefully I can kind of tie that into the YouTube channel and that kind of thing. Um, other things, we started a podcast. My wife and I are now doing a podcast. Uh, definitely go check that out if you haven't. Uh, we're trying to do a podcast every week and they come out on Monday mornings at 6 a.m. where we kind of explore some of the like psychological things behind being a doctor and a life in medicine. So 
if you're interested in kind of hearing, you know, like what goes on in a doctor's head, I guess, um, you know, behind the scenes, like kind of the, the more nitty gritty, like less beautiful, like glamorous side of medicine. Um, we kind of try to explore some of that stuff and, and get into some of the like social aspects of it too. Uh, on the podcast and hopefully we'll start interviewing some of my co-residents if I can coerce them into it um, especially the ones that have matched into fellowships so if you guys are interested in other ophthalmology fellowships um, you know I'll talk to some of the ones that have gone to cornea gone going into retina going into comprehensive ophthalmology straight into practice I think it's good to hear from people and their experience with that kind of stuff so we'll get into that on the podcast hopefully soon other interesting things going on I'm trying to start a blog uh, that would hopefully have pretty frequent, um, like daily, you know, not daily, maybe like every other day blogging, uh, that would basically be kind of mirroring the YouTube channel in a way because it would kind of detail and um, sort of document the process of medical training and kind of just the thoughts that go on, at least in my head, uh, through the process. Um, so it would give you maybe some insight and just kind of uh, I think it helps, you know, to see someone struggle through something that seems hard and and foreign and like uh, depending on where you are in your medical training or wanting to get into medical training, it can seem very out of reach um, when you look so far into the future. So if you're like in college or high school and you want to be a doctor, you want to be a surgeon or something, it's, you know, it's a decade down the road. It's hard to like visualize yourself there and, and those people can seem like so... Um, so other and so like kind of out of touch with where you are at that time so I think kind of blogging the process and just seeing that you know you basically are probably going through a lot of the same like mental struggles and hurdles and like hardships and whatever you're doing at whatever stage you're in as those people you know that are just further along it's just on a different level and it's just on a, a different time scale so seeing me you know struggle through a lot of things and kind of you know, have these like emotional setbacks and things and just seeing that it's not like this glamorous thing that social media paints it as, uh, but it's actually a struggle and it's a lot of hard work. If I can show that to you guys, I'm hoping that it will inspire um, people in their medical training to, you know, push forward and not see it as such a distant, unreachable goal. You know, I'm trying to normalize it basically is what I'm saying. So hopefully the blog would kind of speak to that and kind of, you know, let you come along for the journey. Um, in a blog format rather than a vlog format that I basically do on the YouTube channel. So looking to basically learn how to set up a website and a blog uh, and kind of expand the social media network. Just kind of, you know, backstory on my social media experience. I didn't really start doing it into, until about two years ago. You know, I didn't even like adopt text messaging until like halfway through college. I was like, oh, this text messaging thing. Why don't we just talk to each other on the phone? And now here I am like, doing social media. Uh, I don't know. I would not guess this would be my thing. But anyways, there's a lot of backstory to why I even started doing that and why I think it kind of helped me like get out of a, a funk and like a kind of a slump in early residency. But anyways, so that's just kind of, kind of the stuff going on with like ophthalmology and like the podcast, vlog, blog, all that stuff. I'm going to try to keep pushing forward with that. That's pretty much it. That's basically all that's going on in my life right now. Um, working on a project actually with uh, for our alumni day, which is like our research project that we're required to do in residency. I was able to convince my program to let me not do traditional research like like chart reviews and that kind of thing because I find it incredibly boring to do someone else's chart review. Just being frankly honest, I don't care for it if it's not like, you know, if it's not research that you've come up with, it's hard to like really be invested in that stuff. So I convinced them to let me do a product instrument design for my my research project basically and so I'm working on uh, some forceps that would be used for IOL like intraocular lens explantation for like secondary uh, lenses and things so I have a design I'm working with the manufacturer and hopefully we'll have an actual I have I've already 3d printed a prototype but that I've tried in some pig eyes but I'm hoping to have like a metal like working instrument prototype that I can you know test out maybe we could you know test it in pig eyes see just have proof of concept and then potentially license it to the company if it works and they think it's useful and worth doing anyways that's my research project this year and I find that like so much more fascinating than just like sifting through charts and you know I don't know it just that stuff is so boring to me 
And if it's not fun, if it's not interesting, it's just hard to be passionate and frankly hard to be good at it, in my opinion. So uh, I kind of just fell into this like instrument design thing. Um, and it's so much more interesting than just like traditional research. So I'm glad they let me do it. And I'm just gonna keep pursuing that because it's fun, it's actually fun to just like make things and then like go test them out and see if they work. Uh, and then like, you know, be in the OR and say, hey, can I get my instrument? Or like, I need, you know, the thing I made, can you hand it to me? We need to, we need to use it now. That's an interesting feeling. So um, I really like that. And that's what I'm gonna do for my research project. Um, that's mostly what's going on. Um, next video, coming out will be one about day in the life glaucoma rotation. I'm hoping I can show you guys some cataract surgeries that I'll be doing on that rotation, trying some new techniques um, during the surgery, trying to get better. I want to finish residency being very, very good at cataract surgery. I Every time I tell an attending that doesn't know what I'm doing, like for fellowship, they, you know, I tell them I'm doing plastics and their first response is like, oh, you don't care about cataract surgery. Then no, I care about cataract surgery. I want to be really good at it. Like, I'm in residency. I want to learn, like, the surgery of our people. This is, like, the surgery of ophthalmologists. I want to be good at it. And and so I'm not just, like, you know, half-assing it on cataract surgery because I know I'm going to do plastics. Like, I'm not sure that I won't do cataract surgery later down the line, and I want to be very proficient at it. You know, I want to get my FACOs like down in the single digits on minutes. You know, if I could get it sub 10 minutes by the end of residency, I'd be very happy. Uh, I can do one in about 15 minutes now, but I have only done about 100 cases and I'm hoping to get like, you know, potentially another like 80 by the end of residency. So I think I, I can really cut down the time because, um, you know, that's not even doing the cases topically. So I'm going to start doing cases topically when I get back to that rotation. Uh, and then, you know, Hopefully won't be using as much Tripan Blue because it won't be all white cataracts like it was out at the other county clinic. So anyways, there's a lot of a lot of room to cut down on time, become efficient, spend less time in people's eye, which is always good. And so a lot of improvement there. Anyways, this was just a rambly video, uh, not even caffeine fueled. But um, I don't know, let me know if you guys like just kind of hearing that stuff, behind the scenes stuff. It's not anything like too valuable or too insightful, but if you do like hearing about it, um, you know, I could do these videos kind of updating you on life stuff, how residency's going. Let me know if you, if you dig this stuff and I'll keep making it. Anyways, subscribe to the channel and I'll try to keep making valuable content for all you medical hopefuls out there and people that like watching uh, a young ophthalmologist struggle through a life in medicine. I'll see you guys on the next one.